October 8, 2005, a 7.6 magnitude earthquake that claimed more than 74,000 lives and flattened 272,000 buildings shook residents of northern Pakistan, leaving nearly 3.5 million people homeless. Essential lifelines such as water supplies, power lines, roads and bridges were also disrupted. With many school buildings destroyed throughout Azad Jammu and Kashmir and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa districts, education was badly affected. कॉफी बहुत आ गए थे हमें पढ़ पढ़ने का तो पता ही नहीं चलता था स्कूल में किधर है हम किधर नहीं है बस पहले तो ऐसे खुले आसमान तले क्या बैठ के कोई क्या पढ़ा था सब डिस्टर्ब ही हुए थे द यूएस एजेंसी फॉर इंटरनेशनल डेवलपमेंट कमिटेड टू हेल्प पाकिस्तान रिकवर सम ऑफ इट्स लॉसेस बाय डोनेटिंग 200 मिलियन डॉलर्स टू हेल्प रिकवर द अफेक्टेड कम्युनिटीज बाय रीकंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ नंबर ऑफ स्कूल्स एंड हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज डैमेज बाय द डेवास्टेटिंग अर्थक्वेक The leading American engineering and construction firm, CDM Constructors, was selected to implement the Pakistan Earthquake Reconstruction and Recovery Program. CDM actually has a track record. We've been working with USA and with one of their trusted, uh, specially designed, built contractors for the last 35 years. Bringing on board 65 years of global expertise in environmental engineering and development. CDM adopted a localized strategy to work within Pakistan leading international and local engineers architects and community liaison specialists were selected to manage the program Working in Pakistan you really had to step back and think of the local abilities and context The teams had to follow international seismic standards and codes to design and reconstruct the new schools and health facilities in the northern earthquake zone The challenges were many. These are all hilly sites. How do you design for a place without disturbing too much of the hill? The challenge was to in the shortest possible time frame and hand it over to the appropriate communities. So how did CDM overcome these challenges? We took on a really different approach uh, to construction uh, different in this country and many countries. This is a rare program in Pakistan where the involvement of the local communities was actually structured into the construction plans from the beginning. By integrating these uh, the component the social community involvement component along with the engineering component we were able to uh, proceed in the implementation of the program in such a fast way that uh, otherwise would have been probably difficult and maybe not possible. Five years into the Pakistan Earthquake Reconstruction and Recovery Program, CDM has so far built and furnished 36 primary, secondary, and intermediate level schools and 15 fully equipped basic health units. All 51 facilities so far have been fully completed and handed over to the various communities in Azad Jammu and Kashmir and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa districts. In the end, in the areas of Kashmir and places like that, we're putting world-class processes in place. I think it's going to be very difficult for us as a company and as a team to uh, approach construction as they used to before. I mean, they're all now going to be start thinking along the lines of how or whatever activity we're going to do is it impacting the community.